The 3D Touch Pro, it's probably one of the most useful tools in our shop. And today in this short video, I'm gonna show you one application to use this tool to make lining up your job simple, fast, and accurate. This particular 3D Touch Probe is sold by Stepcraft. It's designed with an eight millimeter shank on the top of it. So I'm able to put an eight millimeter collet in my tool holder and then I can simply pop it out and then pop it back in whenever I need to use it. And I know anytime I use it, it's perfectly aligned with the center of the spindle. So whatever measurement it gives me in this corner is gonna be accurate no matter what size end mill I use. The first thing we need to do to properly probe this off, because what I'm trying to do here is that I have an aluminum bar that I need to put some holes in. So I set my job up to have the XY datum on the lower left hand corner which means that I need the center of this touch probe to be exactly on the corner so any other bit that I put in the machine is perfectly aligned with that starting point. And all of the holes will be placed based on that exact corner location. You could do it by hand by simply using a piece of paper and bringing the end mill in and touching off on X and then bringing it around to touch off on Y. But this makes it so much easier. And all I need to do with this probe is I need to move it roughly above the surface in the corner of the material within a half inch of the left edge and the bottom edge. So the probe is located just above the material in the corner. On the screen I'm going to press this button right here and it's going to tell me that it's going to probe the Z height and the lower left corner of the material. I'm going to press OK and then it's going to come over and it's going to probe the top and then it's going to move to the left side and it's going to probe on the x-axis. Then it's going to lift up, move back to the starting position, come down and it's going to probe the y-axis. When it's finished, the center of the touch probe will be in the exact corner of your work material. Now when the job is done, it's basically going to tell me that it's probed the X, Y, and Z, and it will leave the touch probe one millimeter above the surface of the material. Now if you notice here on the DRO, my X, Y, and Z were zeroed, and then Z was left in one millimeter above the work material. That was all done by the macro for the touch probe. Now this particular touch probe has a diameter of two millimeters, and the macro, which are these buttons right here, takes into consideration that diameter and adds an offset after it probes off the edges automatically by touching on the edge of the tool. Technically, that would put the center of the touch probe outside the corner and then you'd have to manually move it in one millimeter in either direction. This is handled by the macro automatically to make sure that the center of that probe is exactly in that corner point. So now all I have to do is load an end mill in from my job and I know that the center of that end mill is going to be perfectly located on the center of my stock. So this touch probe right now is working with UC CNC. And as you can see here on this square box, there's arrows that go all the way around. This allows you to touch off on various points along a workpiece just by simply touching one of those arrows. You can also probe off the outside and inside of a circle and the outside and inside of a square as well. You can also do digitizing for 3D scanning and bed leveling as well. All of these macros are available for UC CNC. Now if you're using Mach 3, I know that there are probe macros available for Mach 3 as well. And this particular touch probe is designed to work with any CNC by using the tool length sensor or probe circuit. Now the first end mill I'm going to use for this particular job is a hole spotting end mill as you can see right here and all I want to do is spot the center of the holes on this workpiece. Now that the probe is done I can raise my gantry and simply press the button and I can eject the touch probe from the machine and unplug it. And then I can just simply pop in the new spot drill and I can go ahead and run my job from there. Now this is just one application for a 3D touch probe and I just happen to be 
running a job and I needed to use it, so I figured I would make a quick tip video for those of you who are not familiar with how a touch probe works. So I'll have uh, many different videos in the near future showing different applications with this particular tool and how it could save you a lot of time in your setup on your jobs on your CNC. Now if you like this video and want to see more like it, please hit the like button below. And if you've not already done so, please be sure to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time we post a new video.